Father of Ahmed Muhammad. He's the uh, Irving, Texas teenager who became known as Clock Boy. He's back in the news. Loretta Powers, Dallas Fort Worth based attorney. All right, Loretta, what did Clock Boy's dad do now? So this is a mess, Rusty. Well, he's he's suing the Blaze, Glenn Beck, for their statements made made on television and on the radio. Uh, well, can, they can't make statements. Well, I mean, Glenn Beck did settle out of court recently with a uh, uh, a Saudi citizen, uh, correct? I I don't know anything about that. Okay, he um, he did about but, a week or two ago, so that's opened himself up right. for a lawsuit, I would think, from from but other I think people. So too, because I mean, these statements allegedly happened over a year ago. Why is he suing now? Why isn't he suing last year after the statements were made? Well, he was living he in Cutter. He was it. he was living in Cutter. Life was good, and all of a sudden he missed home. Okay, you can file a lawsuit from Cutter. Okay, <laughs> that's no excuse for that. Um, it's just. Very scary that people could get sued for their opinion. Um, and, you know, honestly, I read the 21 page court document that was filed here in Dallas County, and it just reeks. It reeks of desperation. Um, apparently. Uh, now, that's not the lawsuit had... between Glenn Beck and the former president of his company, right? You're talking about the one with Clock Boy. I'm talking about the one with Clock Boy. Okay, I just want to check. Thank you for sound, clarifying. Yeah, they're both sound pretty desperate, but go ahead. So it's it's just a mess. You can't people based on their opinions. This does not have a legal leg to stand on. So then and why why are we worrying about it? Because I mean again, for somebody who believes in Sharia law, that would make perfect sense probably. I mean, I think that what Ahmed Muhammad did, the clock boy, making some out of his garage was pretty cool. I mean, he made something out of nothing. I can't even find or assemble a matching pair of socks some morning. Okay. Um, but this dad, the way he is parenting this this kid, it's just unbelievable. You don't you don't file lawsuits because your kid's getting bullied. All right. Here's the question: Why? Okay. So he's going after the, the Blaze and Glenn Beck. Did they say anything different than what everybody else said? According to these court documents, not much. I don't think that they said anything that are liable as in nature, nor could they win on their defamation suit. Basically, they're saying that the public has been misled into believing the Bahamans are terrorists who plotted to have the Irving police wrongfully arrest a teenage boy for bringing an alarm clock to school. The direct quote from the court statements. And I don't think the public believes that. Hmm. Well, I think a lot of people believe that this boy did this on purpose, uh, trying to cause trouble. I think the father knew what was going on uh, before he went in, was hoping something bad would happen. Um, so, I mean, basically what I believe this is, is an attempt by this family who believes in Sharia law to silence anybody who objects to Islam and Sharia law. Right, and... You know, racial profiling, it does happen in the United States. Social injustice, it should not happen. But this isn't the way to go about it. And I think that this lawsuit, they're trying to make it say like, hey, you know what, America, you need to stop racial profiling. And we're going to sue you if you if you just insinuate that you're going to racially profile somebody. Mm -hmm. Well, Irving, Texas is uh, known, of course. That's the last place where Lee Harvey Oswald lived and now... The place where Ahmad uh, Muhammad's from. Who knows? All right. Loretta Powers, it is a pleasure. Do you have a website you'd like people to go to? Of course. LorettaPowersLaw.com. Thank you for being here and trending today, USA.